Welcome back to Airlines 101 with Laura, and today I am on a bus about to ride over to the Willis Tower in Chicago, and they're going to be taking a tour of the United Airlines Operations Control Center. So excited to see what we're going to learn about there as we travel up into the um, heights of the Willis Tower and visit with United Airlines. Ever since I was a little girl, I was really impressed with United. We flew United a lot as a kid. I took this picture at O'Hare. And so, really excited to see the inside of United Airlines Network Operations Center. These are some pictures I took a few uh, days earlier at the Museum of Science and Industry. So if you get to Chicago, check it out. You can walk through their 727 that's at the Museum of Science and Industry. But back to the tour, I uh, got to go in the Willis to Tower lobby. And went through security, was given a pass, and we met our tour guide, Courtney, who has been with United for two years after working with Republic for two years before. Hi, welcome to United. So we went upstairs. The United Operations Center takes up uh, the entire 27th floor of the building. This is the entryway. There's uh, obviously uh, break areas and lockers for the dispatchers to store their stuff. Uh, basically, they have 435 dispatchers, including ops managers and coordinators. They have uh, basically 24 to 26 flights per dispatcher per day, um, 20 for the overnight desks. I should add that I was able to tour uh, based on because I went to the Airline Dispatcher Federation Annual Safety Summit, and we were able to take this tour as a result of that. So big shout out to the Airline Dispatcher Federation. It's a great uh, organization for dispatchers to join. This area we have all the opt coordinators. They're organized by narrow body and wide body. Uh, this is one of the typical desks. They're adjustable height so you can stand when you're working. All provided by a company called Russ Bassett. They have amazing views. I am told that because the lights are on here all the time, like 24 hours a day, they actually attract a lot of bugs and spiders um, more so than other floors of the building. So just a weird uh, and fun fact. Um, this is uh, the main part of the room. It does take up that whole floor, like I mentioned. They have their own meteorology department, can make their own weather forecasts under an eWinds program. They have this uh, large board that tracks hub status, tracks their metrics over their competitors. So Delta, American, and Southwest are all showing up on there as far as how their uh, performance is comparing with United for that month to date. I, I noticed that they were doing pretty good for their completion factor that day. You do have some issues um, apparently with on-time arrivals. Um, so, but that's again all they want. They really want to track that information and display that to all their employees. Let's talk about uh, getting hired at United and kind of what the training profile looks like. So uh, Courtney, who, had, like I say, had been there for two years, had worked at Republic for two years prior, uh, she was letting me know that it was about three to four months ground school, um, including all training on all aircraft. So she's qualified to dispatch all aircraft. Her first flight she dispatched was a 787. So how about that for your first flight to dispatch? Um, and there are three to four months of the ground school is followed by one month of on-the-job training. They have um, two-day test as a, in the back, basically oral examinations, and then one desk um, one day on the desk as the end check to their training. These are different things I noticed that were hanging up around. This was uh, from Continental, I believe. It may have had to do with uh, them merging. This was after 9-11. But lots of um, cool like posters and memorabilia things are hanging around the walls. Um, should add, like, so with them being ex-Continental, uh, some of the employees previously worked for Continental, and so apparently those are called ex-cons. So another fun fact, uh, the people who joined United after their merger are just colloquially known as new United people. Another interesting thing that I found out, um, this is the dispatcher area. So the dispatchers, they're going to work um, basically five days on, two days off, and then five days on, and then five days off. So that's a nice schedule. Uh, they can legally, at the company anyway, only dispatch six days in a row. Their salary hourly positions, which means they work 1,880 hours a year, and that's how much they have to work in order to get their salary. 
Now, this part of the room is called the storytelling area. And so they say every flight has a story. And apparently this is a customer service initiative that basically they have people who sit here and write up information about delays to give to people in the United app. So I thought that was a really interesting way for them to reach out to customers. This is one of the elevators, so another fun fact about that. If an employee wants to use the elevator or the stairs rather than the elevator to get to work, they actually have to use a doctor's note to provide to the company. Um, Only one person's done that that they told me about. After uh, the tour, we went up to the 99th floor, had some amazing views. Again, this was a really special thanks to United Airlines, to Courtney Schaff, a dispatcher who gave me the tour, and to the Airline Dispatcher Federation who hosted me at the Safety Summit this year. So I encourage you guys to like and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, uh, check out my other tours, and my new website, theaviationvault.com. Have a great day.